the pieces are in place, Asimond. Yes, I know what I must do. By sundown, you shall walk the earth, my lord. The time has come. Yes, that's right, the time has come. We're gonna be playing Dark Realm Guardian of Flames. This is the fourth in the series. I'm super pumped. This is Madhead Games, and they have such great polish to their games. I'm super excited to get into this one. Of course, I'm doing this live for all the beautiful people that are watching. I'm waving at you right now. I've got four live chats right now. We've got YouTube Live, Mixers Live, Smashcast, and Twitch. We're gonna play this together, so I think we should just jump right in. I'm, I'm already loving this menu music. This is great. So here we go, folks. We're gonna start the show. Okay, this is a very interesting way to do the difficulties. Wow, I love this. Egg, Hatchling, Wervin, Dragon, and Hydra. That's pretty cool. All right, well, you know how I roll. I roll with the old egg. We have a main story and a bonus chapter, so let's jump right into the main story. And by the way, if there's anyone that's watching for the very first time, thank you. Thank you for watching. My name is Valera. I'm the last mage of the ancient order of fire wielders. In the years that I've been queen of the Fire Kingdom, the Fire Medallion has been the heart of my nation. But now, it's decaying. I feel great evil at work. I turn to the only person who might have answers, my Aunt Lhasa. She was the queen before me. I sense that a great trial awaits us. Okay, it's time to select tutorial. Actually, today we're gonna go and we're gonna do explain every aspect because why not? I made it to Aunt Alaza's castle. She's around here somewhere. Hey, Ray, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you there. And Teresa, of course. All sorts of great folks joining us today. Uh, we should also quickly figure out what our collectible is. I don't know if it's going to actually be a puzzle piece, but, uh, oh, I bet you it is. All right, folks, so those that are watching, you know that your job is to shout those collectibles out when you spot them. And, uh, you know, this has happened, and it's worked out beautifully in the past. Folks shouting out the collectibles, we end up getting all of them most of the time, which is really great, and I appreciate that. So let's find out what our dear aunt is doing over here. An eclipse? So suddenly? My medallion! Oh no, the medallion is all busted and rusty! During your journey, important objectives and useful information will be written in the journal. Whoa, <laughs> fancy journal is fancy! The fire medallion is reacting to something and losing power every day. Something terrible must be afoot. The eclipse made it lose most of its power. Okay, so what do we have here? We've got map. Uh, oh, okay. That's interesting. Journal objectives. And collectibles. Look at all of these collectibles, folks. We're gonna have to find those two together. Let's just, uh... How do I get out of here? Oh, random click. Move ahead, exit the area, and move to the next location. Aunt Lhasa, the medallion is getting worse. That strange eclipse affected it somehow. 
I fear that dark forces are upon us. Maybe I can learn something from it. Let me see it. Items you've picked up can be used on various locations. In the meantime, activate the ocularium here. It will surely have some answers. Okay, I'm really digging her outfit here. This is great. Look at the collar and such. That's... <laughs> I want. Replace all the missing planets. There must be something you can use around here. You can take some items and use them later to overcome obstacles. A small plus symbol beneath an item indicates that the item can be examined more closely and interacted with further. You don't trust the aunt? Why, because she's beautiful. Thank you, Skull, for dishing out one out of five planets. Man, this music has already got me excited. Wow. Check out her hair and her outfit. I like it. Sign me up. The eclipse is over, but a sense of dread still hold me. I feel this is far from over. Some areas can be examined more closely. This is interesting. I will take that. The mechanisms exposed. Was Alaza fixing this? Good question. I now have a winding key. Oh, look at the birdie. There's no time to gaze at nature right now. Wow, game. I like to gaze at nature. You can't make me not. Oh no, the bird is stuck in the vines. Oh, look at the pretty butterfly. Seriously, game, there's no time to gaze at nature? <gasps> we have to make time. We have to stop and smell the roses. Interesting alphabet. From the dawn of... Hey. From the dawn of time, there have been many lines of mages that protected this world from evil. They harnessed the power of the elements and nature around them and channeled it into mighty spells. These spells could heal, defend, and attack in equal measure. But the hearts of the mages are pure and they never attacked first. A mage's life is one of devotion, kindness, and sacrifice. It is their duty to do what is right. I really like that um, the book obviously is not written in English, but the little pop-up here with the English, that's pretty cool. I like that. Lassa of the Fire Kingdom, for years she ruled the kingdom in, in the absence of Queen... Oh, stop! I can't read it that quickly. <laughs> uh, in the absence of Queen Valeria, her niece and the rightful ruler of the realm. Wise and just, she willingly gave up her claim on the throne and now serves as Queen Valeria's mentor. I had to keep clicking it to be able to see that. Harlan, the lord of the Wind Kingdom, notably and just, oh, nobly and just ruler of skies and wind, under his rules, under his ruling, a war that tore a kingdom of fire and king. Okay, I think this is a callback to the previous games here. Nathaniel of the Fire. So, what do we have here? Fire, fire. Ice. Ice, ice, baby. Uh, that is, um, what I noticed is that the Dark Realms games, they tend to have these kind of elements named in their uh, game titles. The line of the fire wielders began with Eurismas, a gifted mage who was first to master the great power of eternal flame. Let me grab that. For his entire life. Erasmus had done all in his power, not only to protect our realm, but preserve it for generations to come. His abilities and commitment had been so outstanding that the fire wielders came to be the strongest mages of them all. Phew! That was a lot of story exposition there. Hmm. There we go. Nature's beautiful except for the pesky bud bugs. Aren't the pesky bugs necessary though? Looks like Lassa was trying to open the chest. We have a clue. It's a blues clues. Must be some kind of instruction. 
Puzzles! Press the info button to read. Instructions for the current minigame. If you don't want to solve it, you can skip it by pressing the skip button once it's fully charged. Unlock the chest by recreating the constellations in the clue on the right. Select a point of light and place it on the available spot. Beam will appear automatically in lines between two points. Okay, so... Um... Sure. I assume it's like that. I don't... Oh, I guess it does go like that. Yay, we got one done! The Dark Realm series introduced you to my channel. Well, that's super cool. Uh, Dark Realm was one of the earliest series by Madhead that I can recall, and uh, it definitely got me hooked on them. What I really enjoyed was um, the Dark Realm series had a knack for breaking the fourth wall. Uh, like dragons that break the interface, the user interface, which I thought was pretty cool. Okay, so I t apparently I'm no good at this one. Um, does it have to go back here, maybe? Or not? Uh, oh, maybe it goes here? Hey, two down, one to go. Now, let's see here. Uh, I think this might go here. Um, perfect! What do we have in this chest? All sorts of goodies. Oh no, it's a broken sword. We're gonna go ahead and steal this little planety thing. What's my favorite color, roses? I mean, I think the classic red is cool, but frankly, I like all different colors. Black and orange and yellow and all the other different colors. I have a broken sword. Let's go back to our desk here. That's right, Puzzle Solver King. Sure. There is a planet cast in silver, but I need... A new mold. Okay. <laughs> what are we doing here? This thing casts like lightning. Okay. Oh, we have a wind-up thing for our little birdie here. It looks like a dagger. <laughs> Where did, oh my gosh, look at the poor bird. No, we... Poor thing. We're going to just steal its gears. Okay. Now we're going to melt it. Uh, I wonder if we can just melt the sword. No. Oh, but I bet you we can use it to open this up, though. There's the other half. I don't know what we're actually going to melt, though. The mold is all set. I just need some liquefied silver. Okay, so let's get out of here. I know, I busted the birdie. I'm so sad. Hey, Ravenite. Welcome to the live stream. Good to see you. Just a small reflective pool. Oh, maybe we can use this sword over here to cut the line off here. Okay, planet number four. Excellent. I don't know what our aunt's doing, but she doesn't seem to be too interested in helping us here. I know, all the birdies are broken. It really makes me sad. Okay. We have a hidden object scene! Hashtag your gibbs killed the bird! Aww. Complete hidden object puzzles by finding all the items shown below. Uh, what? Oh, I see. Find the symbol shown on the hourglass. Okay. First time live stream. Well, welcome, Whitney. Glad to have you here. We do this every weekend. Aha! Morphing objects. So I will shout that out, folks. Actually, I hope you shout it out. If you do spot the morphing object, 
please, please put it in the chat. I would greatly appreciate that. Ooh, that rhymed. During your adventure, press and hold some items to move them. Ooh, I control that. Very lovely. We're gonna have a planet party, yes, of course. Okay, let's see, we gotta, oh, we can even, oh wow, that is kinda neat. I've never seen that on a uh, hidden object scene before. First time I think for uh, Madhead, that's for sure. Oh wow. I can't do it until I move everybody out of the way. Huh. That's neat. Ladybug. Oh, it's a little ladybug. Your birthday was two days ago. Well, happy birthday to you. As I always say, I think it's important to celebrate in our own way. And uh, don't necessarily think of your birthday as the only day. Celebrate a few days. Why not? Life's too short. Got some lovely music here. Okay, let's see here. Oh, I don't think there was much else here. Oh, that's actually the same thing, huh? So we need this one, this one, and that one. Not sure where else to get this from. Um, I feel like there should be something here with the dragon. No such luck! Mm -mm. Oh, it's in your it, your birthday's in the next two days. Well, there you go. Then perfect. As I say, I like to celebrate my birth week. I feel like my parents were thinking about me before and after I was born. So why not celebrate for a whole week? Uh, my Canada day was pretty quiet. I didn't really do anything too extraordinary, and I'm I'm okay with that. The five lines of the window. The five lines are the window on the right wall. Ah, thank you so much for that. Now we just need one more. Use your spy eyes. Yes, exactly. Hello, hello, everyone. We're just gonna hint the last one. Oh, oh, there we go. We got it. Oh, I think we're gonna be melting Mr. Silver, soldier dude. You watched my walkthroughs. Well, I appreciate that. I appreciate everybody watching. Oh no, the eclipse. Oh, that is not an eclipse. What the heck is that? Kneel before Azamar, warlord of the Dark Lord's Legion. Oh, <laughs> like, I love his voice. I mean, I know he's a bad person, but I love his voice. What's going on? What's this thing in his stomach? What the heck is this? <laughs> I don't think I'd want to pet his belly. Sanity. <gasps> the Eye of Siron, yeah, exactly. That is some crazy flame. Here, let's use our rain summoning scroll. Are we winning? Oh, I actually control it. <gasps> I control the, my own cloud. Oh, I love the music too. Oh. 
Aww. Bye bye, Cloud. Bye. <gasps> Auntie, Auntie. Don't worry. I'll be fine. I already cast a healing spell. We must find out where he went and what he wants with the medallion. Let's finish what we started. The ocularium is our best chance. Ooh, look at this stain here. The sense of evil is overwhelming. Even the flames were dark. Good thing we did that hidden object scene before that spear thing got to it. All right, let's melt Mr. Silver Dude. Glug, 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 glug. I am the Rainmaker, yeah. Excellent. Hello, hello. Now it's good to see you again. Do I have advice for people starting to make videos? One is make sure your audio is good. And two, make sure you play something you really enjoy. Even if you've played it already, play it again. We must hurry. I'll prepare the spell. You go find replacements for the planets. I, I have five planet replacements. Five out of five. Excellent. Let's see what we can find out. I actually do like her voice. Maybe it is a little Scottish, I guess. I don't know. Wow. In ancient times, a breach opens between our world and the Dark Realm. Only one person managed to close it. Okay, I really like what they're doing here with the profile view of, of the lady here. This is... <laughs> I, I like it. So we need to find four flames. Um, sure we do. Let's see here. That apparently is not a flame. Um, okay. All right, Tanina, thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, you know what, Mina? I have never gone back to replay old games, and uh, it's interesting. I I don't know. Like, it's I, I've thought about it. Like, if I went back to like say the very first Hope game I ever played, what would that look like? I don't know. It's an interesting uh, proposition. I don't think it's a problem if you have not been following the Dark Realm series. I think you'll be fine. Um. There it was go. the first fire wielder, Erasmus. He sealed the breach and locked it with the fire medallion. Imprisoned in the depths of the shadows, the Dark Lord gathered his armies and waited. Okay, I I really like this story exposition piece here. This is neat. When the moment was right, he would send his mightiest warriors to enable his return. Okay. Uh, what do you want me to click on? The seal would hold against all but one thing, the medallion that created it. If the two came together, the seal would break. Oh no, we can't let them come together. Once the seal is broken, he will return. All shall know his fury as his voice echoes, They Victus. The breach. I know where it happened. A large dam was built there. I'll summon reinforcements and rally the troops. You go after the medallion. Take this map and travel to the Dragon Dam. Asamond is bound to go there. I now have a map! Hello, map. That's where I am now. That's the Dragon Dam.
If I take the cable car, wait, what is that? I expected you Jeez. to follow, but you cannot stop his repair. Cease your meddling. Run while you still can. I won't give up. There must be another way up there. New objective, find another way to the dam. It's the dam, Daniel. Okay, I uh, will be back in just a second.